the first step toward dictatorship came in when we really had a twin presidents, like two heads, one body, two heads. It used to be, these two gentlemen used to be referred to as the presidents. Secretary to your left, president of the executive branch, Saifullah to your right, president of the legislative branch. They acted in duo, but they also created the authoritarian dictatorial state, <coughs> police state. Until the first plot, May 1960. This is uh, the first U.S. ambassador to be, uh, the late uh, Morrow. He's taking his out of office in August 1959 at the State Department in presence of uh, Secretary of State uh, Christian Herder in the middle. He was present in 1960 when he denounced the first plot, which ultimately led to the assassination of uh, Ibrahim Diallo, a lawyer. What happened actually was that earlier that year, in, in January 1960 in Kankan, Ibrahim Diallo had challenged publicly the secretary and told him that he would create a political party. The secretary told him, I'll even help you. But it was a trap. How much a teacher earned how much a deputy or the uh, parliament member earned. It's like, you know, the ratio of one to one hundred fifty. So they asked for just adjustment, you know, minor uh, adjustment like providing teachers with free rent, housing, adjusting their salary to allow them to prepare for a better lessons and things like that. That was the cause for an accusation of teacher uh, prison, and each of these five was given five sentence for five years prison. Some of their colleagues were arrested a few weeks later, but these were the primary culprits. Kumanyan had uh, led the uh, teachers' union since 1956. They had challenged, uh, like I told the earlier city today, in 1957. And they told him to relinquish some of them in order to load balance somehow the responsibility among the leadership. He waited from 1958 to 1961 to arrest them and jail them on false accusations. Jibu Tamsin the second name, is one of the world's most renowned historians. And he was celebrated among the 20th century most uh, significant personalities by UNESCO. We need the party in Secretary as an activist, uh, hot-blooded person, could then take on the responsibility of uh, governing, but always checked by the party, and that he resisted. Paranoia, schizophrenia, settled in in Secretary, so much feared even his own shadow. So, from 1962, we had the 1965 Merchant's Plot, which saw the death of Petit Touré, the cousin of Sipo Touré, who had made money in Cote d'Ivoire and decided to come back home and invest. He died in prison at Kambwa, built irony. 1970, the Portuguese and a group of Guinean exiles decided to attack militarily. The objective of the Portuguese was to free 19 prisoners of war captured by the PAIGC. They had managed to capture 19 white Portuguese who were, I think, uh, first jailed in Mamu in the center of Guinea, southern Futebol, center of Guinea, it's called La Guilcarofu, the crossroad town. But on the eve of the Portuguese-led attack, somehow the higher authority ordered that the 19 prisoners be moved from Mamu to a villa near the seashore. In 1984, it was the peddler's club. Just street vendors were arrested in Mamu 
practice of some part, four of them were executed. One of them was a new azan, one of those who called for the azan, like what President Obama talked about in his Cairo speech. And he told the others, okay, tell Secretary that my wife and his will be widow at the same time. That was in mid-March 1984. On March 25th, 25, I think, Secretary had his father uh, going to live on the highway where he died. So, the little witch did happen. The prediction by the Muslim had become reality. So, Secretary dies in 1984, on March 26th, his funeral took place in Conakry. The Reagan administration, considering that he had died on American soil, dispatched uh, Vice President uh, George Herbert Bush to the funerals, which were already. And uh, three years later, the army took over. Two colonels, Lansan Akonpo, you know left, Jara Tauri, you are right, I'm sorry, took over. One president of the republic, the other prime minister, chief of head of the government. It took only one year for the two of them to split, and it resulted in the death of Jara Tauri. An observer like myself considered it. blood debt that had been paid. Why? Both Conte and Yara were the executioners of the forehand on January 25th at Pondepan, the, the, the bridge of the hand in, in the heart of Kanaki. They did not allow petty officers or rank and file soldiers to do the execution. It was Jaratari himself that put the rope around each of the four hand. Baldi Usman, Bayitwa, Magasuba Muriba, and uh, Keita Kara Sufiana. On the northern side of the site where the four were hanged, Conte had told people who were uh, a crowd in a dancing called La Payotte. It's near the, near the, uh, the bridge. He had told them, get out of here, we have work to do. That was a few hours before the hanging of the four, who were accused. Finally, you found guilty the minute they were accused. No lawyer, no self-defense. So, the two colonels, at that time, Conte was a lieutenant, and Gara was a major. Four months later, they had been... Uh, they had advanced in, in, uh, in rank and, and, and uh, in status. So in 85, the two of them had a major falling. It was you, it was well, you or me. Conte had the upper hand, and on YouTube, if you Google Yara Traore, you'll find, you'll see the last minutes of torture and execution of Colonel Yara Traore former Prime Minister of Guinea. It's right there. So, Conte took over. They somewhat tricked Yara, who was very impulsive, did not really plan carefully his, uh, his plot. Conte took over, and for 24 years, ruined Guinea further. Lots of stuff happened, pogroms in the forest area by forest people against Maninka, and so on and so forth. Conte was behind all that, and as the world knows, from, nine, from 207 to his death in 208, there were recurrent uprisings in the against his despotic and corrupt rule. He dies on December 23rd, Someone he had groomed by the name of Musa Dadis a captain, took over. He had been. He, the New Yorker magazine revealed that the wife of Conte 
found that this camera first before the president of the assembly, the national assembly, who is the second in the rank, was informed of the death of the president. That gave this relatively young and foolish captain time to prepare his crew and put people in a fait accompli situation. The world knows all about the antics and the foolishness of uh, Dadis Kamara. He was uh, almost killed in uh, January 2010, flown to Morocco, and is now in exile in Burkina Faso. In his absence, his deputy, the number three guy in the junta at the time, uh, General Sekou Bakunati, was colonel in December 2008, uh, took over and somewhat piloted the transition. Which consisted in two rounds of an elect presidential election. The two front runners are here to your left, Alpha Kone, to your right, Sedu Dale Yalo. In the middle, Mamadou Silla, one of the country's henchmen, and looters of the treasury of Guinea. And here is Alpha Kone, the current president of the Republic of Guinea. So, what I have tried to again, just is to pinpoint the milestone, show you the faces, remind you the dates. Guinea's history is extremely complex, very difficult to study. Why? Because there are no libraries in Guinea, no archives, no memory. You can testify. Chairman has tried to write, he knows that it's hard to find reliable primary or secondary sources. That's Guinea a self-destructing country. The outside played a role. The Cold War, like I mentioned, did manipulate security rate to the best of their advantages, but it was up to the Guinea leadership to look after Guinea's interests, not to heed foreign quarrels and take side between foreign wars and foreign wars. Guinea first. They failed. <coughs> So today, the country is back to square one. All the red lights are flashing in Guinea currently. Why? The president of the Republic is a sociologist or legal specialist somehow. And the first thing he is doing currently is trample the constitution. The, there are two institutions like the high Council by authority on, on the press, which must be first created, elect their president, and that election is confirmed by the president. But before the creation of the body, he has already appointed the president. 